true. Uh, out of a bomb, we should definitely expect a lot of air, but uh. Yeah, White Rod's been playing macro p macro style uh, air PVP too, so I'm kind of interested to see how these games play out. But and, it's good. yeah, here we are. Yeah. And in the bottom left spawn location of Daybreak, we're gonna be seeing our red Protoss player, the one, the only White Rod. And his opponent spawning across from him up in the top right hand corner of Daybreak. It is MYI's A bomb, hailing from Ireland, and he will be our yellow Protoss this game. Ireland versus Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, thankfully enough, we don't have a super slow game. I'm not. Uh, is that been fixed now on ladder? I believe it has. Um, I haven't gotten a single uh, a single slow game since they updated the. the okay. I, I it makes me server. happy, but in in a way, it should be sad because I had a habit of winning all of my rock paper scissors. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, it became commonplace, and there was they could uh. There was a little bit of a bug where the games would be incredibly laggy and super slow, so whenever you spawn, well sometimes, so whenever you spawn in one of those, it became kind of normal for people to play rock, paper, scissors, and then the loser would just leave. <laughs> I just left. There was no point in dragging it out at all. I yeah. played the first game though, in like not knowing anything about it, hoping that it would get fixed, but no. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to see gateways going up for both players, a uh, pretty standard opening. I'm interested to see what exactly they decide to take their expansions. I'm not super duper familiar with um, the recent PvP meta in uh, in Heart of the Swarm. Just that there's a lot of air going around and a lot of void rays. Uh, I was reading in the chat just a couple minutes ago that apparently one void ray can now beat three stalkers. That's pretty disgusting. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I, White Bra's actually been going pretty low gateway count into like double star gate play. Um, and A-Bomb typically gets his up pretty early too. I've been seeing a lot of faster expansions than you would generally see in Wings of Liberty as well. So I guess second gas time is also going to tell quite a fair amount. As much yeah. as for uh, pressure or use it for just defense is very, very common. I've got A-Bomb only really mining from uh, two with, uh, with two guys off of his gas. That may allow him to uh, get up to around 100 gas just in time. No, he actually just fixed that with the third guy on. Might have been a bit of a mistake there. Double gases are going to be finishing up for both players. We see a mirrored build pretty much down to the letter by both players so far. Yeah. Uh, White Rob, it, actually A-Bomb is a tiny bit behind in pro production by about 10 seconds just to get a sell it out a bit faster. But otherwise, everything is exactly the same. And the Mothership Core May well be starting reasonably soon here for White, right? He is up to about 100 gas. Does have the uh, warp gate already researching. And is he going to go for it? <laughs> um, I guess not. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not super familiar with the early game in PvP right now. But there's a Stargate going down straight away. <laughs> so he is eager to start the action up. And uh, as we were saying, air toss is becoming very commonplace here. a on the other hand, is going to be going for that Mothership Core reasonably quickly. And he's sending down a probe as well. Uh, getting close to 400 minerals. Looks like he is going to expand with that. Pretty early expansion, as you were saying. A lot earlier than you would tend to see in Wings of Liberty. And down it goes. I wouldn't be surprised to see two more gates added. I mean, there's not there's not this huge necessity for a Roper right away uh, anymore. And you generally want that additional gateway production to get a few stalkers out to deal with the Oracle Harass. Which most likely is what we're going to see out of White right here. Uh, he is committed to one base at the moment, though. Uh, we are seeing a proxy pylon going up for A-Bomb here. Um, yeah. At the fourth base, I'm, I'll be interested to see if he decides to proxy something or if he's just getting that for later in the game. And as... Actually, he's going Phoenixes, so Waira is going to be going with a Phoenix opening. Something that I have to say is not uh, something that I've seen very much in HOTS. It's a very standard opening in Wings of Liberty, of course, but... We'll see what he can do with this. Um, Especially on this map, it gives you a lot of map control. Um, there's a lot of space that you really need to get a hold on to. It allows for much easier scouting of proxy pylons. Avon does see it coming, so he'll he'll want to get his stalker straight over to the mineral line. And the thing about the mothership core is that it's actually got not very much health, so yeah, he's gonna have to be careful about that. With multiple phoenixes on the map, two already, and the third one in production, why not maybe going for an early mothership core if he gets the opportunity to? So. Avon needs to keep those stalkers close by, and we are going to be seeing gateway number three going to be finishing up, so he can get a reasonable number of stalkers up reasonably soon. 
couple of sentries going to be warped on in now, though. Looks like White Raw not gearing up for an expansion just yet. He is sending a probe down, but no, not going to be expanding. Looks like he wants to be going for a pretty heavy one base play here. He is on three gateways and that Stargate, continuing to chrono boost out those Phoenixes one at a time. And with three of them on the field already, this is going to be very, very difficult to deal with. And Dallas is going to go one of those sentries. A big loss there for Avon. He needs those. And, uh, wow, White Rock actually also forced the um, Photon Overcharge as well, so the Mothership Core is going to be out of energy when the, when the ground units hit. Yeah. These sentries, I mean, already forcing a lot of energy down, taking off two. Um, I mean, that's 200 less gas that's not really committed to his army. He hasn't produced an Immortal either for defense of this push, and it, it will be a like really committed one base uh, timing here. Phoenix is going to be moving on into the main. Only three Stalkers here to defend against this. He is going to be able to lift one of those right away. The units at the front are not pushing, though, and Avon does see them fostering with that Observer. Yeah. He will have a little bit more time to prepare for this. How is he going to do that, though? He's got very few units on the field so far, but he is even on gateways with Whitera. Here comes Whitera moving forward at the front, though, and with these Phoenixes, it looks like he's actually going to go for the sentry straight away again. Down to zero sentries here. Guardian Shield going up for Whitera. He has a lot more units and a nice... Force field is going to go down. The Mothership Core is down as well, and a -bomb is in a world of hurt right now. The Phoenix are just taking care of everything. I mean, they're great CC. He caught the Stalkers out of position while they were still defending the main base, and with that, I mean, he just had the sheer advantage of army size going into the fight. Looks like this game is nearing its conclusion here, and uh, I did just check the um, worker count. Oh, there is an Immortal out right now, however. a could well hold this if he doesn't lose that Immortal to the Phoenixes, though. Uh, it's this getting one's very, very long on health, and uh, it will go down, and I think that is going to be the nail yeah. in the coffin. And, right. yep, GP from A-Bomb, 1-0 for White right here, and uh, I did check the worker count just beforehand, and A-Bomb was up to over 40 workers, so I think that was definitely...